Hey guys, I'm Tom itself, and I've got some conquest on Tamavan Peak for you today. If my Humvee driver wasn't, oh, come on. <laughs> anyway, you are not going to see a whole lot of conquest on this channel. Frankly, I find the game type to be fairly slow and kind of boring. There's something about spreading out the action all over the entire map that really slows things down and makes it really hard to find the action. Okay. Well, as opposed to Rush, where you kind of have a good idea, it's a much smaller area where you expect to find people. But the start of this game is pretty good, as we run back and forth and try to capture the Conquest points. Eventually, like so many Conquest games, it ends in a spawn trap. And I'm just going to end the video once we've got it set up. Uh, I try not to push forward too far, but, you know, I'm looking for gunfights. I'm looking for people to kill and just sitting back in the tunnel. Well, that's pretty boring for me. Now, I'm not really a fan of spawn trapping in Battlefield. Even though it makes the area where you're kind of fighting over smaller, and it makes it easier to find the enemies, it really doesn't speed up the game a whole lot because they are much tend to be much more cautious, and a lot of people just do not try very hard to push out. So, yeah, you don't have to run all over the place, but the game is still pretty slow. So, what can you do? Well, there are kind of two options to try and keep the game entertaining. The first is that... You can wait for some people to leave who are on the spawn trap team, which happens most of the time, and then swap teams yourself and try to make the comeback, which, you know, it's kind of fun, kind of a little silly, but hey, I guess it keeps the game entertaining. Or you can fall back, let them take their gimme point, and try and get their vehicles out of their spawn, and let them try to make a game of it. Now first, let me restate this. I don't really enjoy spawn trapping in Battlefield. It's obvious, it's easy, and it's not very much fun. You just push all the way up as close as you can to the enemy spawn before you get out of bounds, and you wait for them to come out. As opposed to Call of Duty, where you could run in, but then you'll flip the spawn. It's a different type of game, but I really don't like how it works in Battlefield. That said, let me play Devil's Advocate and tell you why, especially the second option I listed, letting them out isn't a good idea. The objectives in Conquest are to capture the control points and kill the enemies. Control points? Well, you don't want to let the enemies anywhere near them once you've captured them. The easiest way to do that is to make them respawn in their deployment and charge out to your waiting gunfire onto the one point that's right next to it, especially on maps like Damavan Peak or Op Metro. I would go so far as to say that the objective in Conquest is to get the enemy team spawn trapped. Get them stuck in their deployment where they can't take any of the control points and let the ticket bleed do most of the work for you. What you get points for in the game and what the announcer tells you to do is to capture the points, hold the points, and kill the enemies. You don't get points for letting the enemies out of their spawn. You don't get more points for letting the enemies take the control points or letting them wander around more of the map. No. If you kill an enemy and what is for you out of bounds, you still get points for that. In Rush, if you're defending, you can't spawn in on your teammates if they're pushed too far towards the enemy spawn. Here. Well, it seems like as long as they're inbounds, they could be all the way up there spawn camping the enemies in their deployment. You can still spawn right in on them. The game really encourages you to spawn camp the enemy because they know it's the effective way to win games. So, if your answer is to let the enemy team out of the spawn trap, you're either being an ass to your team or the enemy team. Uh, it just depends on the situation. For example, if the game is still close enough that the enemies could come back, I'm not saying that you're not so awesome the enemies you know, could make you come back, just hypothetically here. If they could make a comeback, then you're not PTFOing and you're setting your team up for a possible loss from a situation in which they more or less had the win in hand. You know, you're just playing around for your own amusement and not trying to win. Your teammates probably don't appreciate it. However, if the game isn't really close, if the enemies don't have a chance, then you're just dragging out a game that's already decided, and that's not very nice either. Believe me, the enemies, they know the game is over, they're just sticking it out to be nice, and by dragging it out, well, you just make it painful. They just want the auto balance to kick in and the next game to start so that they can have some actual fun. 
Okay, that's that's enough arguing the uh, the other side there. <laughs> I uh, I do not enjoy spawn trapping that much. So I guess that would be the argument that you would make if you wanted to encourage people to spawn trap. Now the thing is that I guess that makes clear is that it's a game design issue as much as anything else. It, you know, obviously when teams are unbalanced, it happens. Just the fact that you can sit there and wait for people to come out of their spawn for five, ten minutes in some games, especially if the ticket count's high. Oh my god, it's boring. And I, I there are all sorts of things you could suggest to try and you know solve it. I would just speed up the ticket bleed, accelerate it over time if they haven't managed to capture a point. Because obviously they're not getting out, the game's more or less over. Uh, in longer or higher ticket count games, uh, set a game up to auto balance midway through. I think I've seen this on PC occasionally, but right now you have to have an admin in the server, you know, and tell people, okay, you're getting auto balanced, you're going to the other team, we want to keep this a fun game, so get over there and try to break out of that spawn trap. You know, and a lot of times I will do that myself just to try to keep the game interesting, but, you know, waiting for people to come out of their spawn, just, I mean, I'm going to end this game. Because I'm not going to, like, see anyone for two plus minutes and just sitting back in the tunnel, like, thinking, oh, come on, guys, you know, you you can take Charlie and, you know, maybe make a game out of this. No. No, this... And this game was really boring after this point. So, yeah, that's spawn trapping for you. I don't play a whole lot of Conquest, so we don't run into it that often. Uh, mostly on rush defense. Uh, you see enemies just sit back in their spawn. It's like Hop Metro on the first bit. Oh, my... Yeah, it's boring. But anyway, that's going to end the video there. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you later. Get out of